Hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you've never been here before. Okay, you guys know what time it is. I actually already have my nails done, and you cannot see them yet. This is probably one of my favorite nail videos I've made so far, because everything turned out so good. I used a little bit of a different technique in this video, and let's just say it worked. My nails, I can just tell, are gonna last so long, and I'm so excited to show you guys how I did this. As you saw in the title, I put removal included, because I have gotten so many questions on how I remove my fake nails, and I know why. It is very hard to find a way to remove your nails without completely destroying your nails. So the first thing you guys are gonna see is me showing you how I remove my nails, and then you're gonna see me doing my nails a little bit later, because I had to give my nails a little bit of a break. Because you guys want these nail videos, but my nails naturally are very, very thin. They are not strong, and when I do this stuff, my nails are even more thin. I do dip nails, and that's the easiest way that I have found to do it if you're not a professional at home, and pretty much I share these videos to help you guys out, because I know everybody doesn't wanna go and spend like 60 to $100, if not more, to go and get acrylics like the ones I do. Professionals know what they're doing, and they went to school for it, but like, it costs so much money, and I have found that just buying the supplies yourself is so much cheaper, because yes, you're spending like 100 bucks to get all of this stuff, but then you have all of the stuff to do like 10 sets of nails. So at the end of the day, you are saving money. And as always, everything I am using in the video is linked down below. Okay, but without further ado, enjoy the nail video. I'm so excited. In the beginning of this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I remove my nails because that is probably one of my most requested thing in my comment section on all of my nail videos. I completely got this hand free of all of the dip that I had. So currently what I have on this hand is I have dip and then I just, I cut my acrylics off. They were like all the way out to here and I cut them down because there's like no point in soaking your whole entire nail with that on there. But I cut them down and then I have gel nail polish on top. This is a nail soaker. This part comes off and pretty much put hot water in here and then these are little holes right here that you put your fingers in like this and then you put acetone in here and you let them soak what I've seen a lot of people do is they put like little cotton balls or cotton rounds in here and then they put the acetone on top and then they go like this and they wiggle their fingers in there to try and get the polish off and stuff so I'm just gonna put some hot water in there it should be like comfortably hot so you don't like burn yourself and fill all of these with acetones you just stick your fingers in there I'm gonna wait here for like five minutes and then I'll be back it has been like five ish minutes the gel polish has peeled up a little bit like this one's about to completely peel off this isn't a cuticle pusher bagger this is like to take dip off I'm pretty sure and this has like a scraper you can kind of feel that the dip feels a little gummy I'm personally going to leave them in a little bit longer because I want this stuff to be super easy to get off so I'm just gonna leave it in there for a little bit longer and I'll be back when it's ready to come off okay so I let them soak for a little bit longer I'm just gonna take my cuticle pusher backer thing and since it's more gummy, it's way easier to get off. So I just got majority of it off. I have a little bit stuck on this finger, but this fingernail hurts so bad because I'm pretty sure it's split somewhere or it's really, really thin. And I don't want to mess with it anymore, so I'm just going to leave a little bit of dip on there for now because it's kind of like keeping my nail together and it's going to hurt less if it stays on there. So I'm going to go wash my hands and then I'm going to be back with these. But what I'm going to do is they're still going to have hot water in the bottom, but I'm going to fill these with all olive oil and I'm gonna soak my nails in them for like 20 minutes because my nails are so destroyed I'm probably do this for every single day for like a week or a few days to try and get my nails back to a good health <music> I am literally going to sit here for like 20 minutes with my fingers in olive oil. And I kind of rinsed my hands off just because it was a lot of oil on my fingers. I'm gonna be going in with this cuticle oil. It's probably like a week after I last filmed the removal of my nail and I think my nails are okay to put fake nails on again. Also, I hate the feeling of not having nails on now. I don't know what it is. I like can feel everything. That's like the main reason why I always have fake nails on because I don't like the feeling under my fingernails and I can't grow my nails out at all. My natural nails have always been thin. I've tried strengtheners. I've tried so many oils. I've tried putting cuticle oil on every single day and no 
matter what, my nails are just thin. I've tried vitamins. I've tried everything you guys can probably think of. But we're actually going to do the set now. So I kind of already prepped my nails. All I did was I put some cuticle remover on and pushed back my cuticles. And I filed my nails so they're like nice and even. But I include that in so many of my other nail videos. I feel like it's getting boring to watch. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And I'm just going to rub that on all of my nails. I always do this before I apply my nail tips because what the rubbing alcohol is doing is it's getting rid of all of the oils that are naturally just on your fingers and stuff. So when you glue the nail tips on, it'll like adhere to your nail way better since there's not going to be oil on it. I've used dehydrators and stuff like that in the past, but honestly, I think rubbing alcohol just works so much better. It's so much cheaper and every single time I've used rubbing alcohol, my nails last way longer. I'm now going to be going in with a little buffer and I'm just going to roughen up my nail a little bit so there's no shine on my nail it really really helps the fake nail tip to adhere to your nail way better especially the tips right now because I'm just gonna be gluing on tips sure you get all the powder off I'm gonna be going in with my nail tips and I am going to be going in with the ones that aren't clear I used the clear ones in my last video to be completely honest they were very pretty and they seemed stronger but I had a little bit of difficulty with them because on some of my nails they cracked I'm gonna be going in with these just because they're a little bit more flexible I don't know, I just kind of like these better. I'm gonna go and pick all of my nail sizes. Also, I do wanna say if there's one that's a little bit too small and one that's a little bit too big, I say always, always, always go with the bigger one because if you go with the smaller one, it's gonna pinch your nail. A lot of times when I've gone to a salon, the nail ladies have done the smaller ones and it hurts my finger and I've noticed they kind of like pop off. I think because it's so much pressure and sometimes I get like little gaps on the sides because they don't fit my nail. So I would always just go with the bigger one and just file it to your exact nail size because it just seems to work so much better. Got all my nails set out. Now I'm gonna glue my nail tips down and this is my favorite glue. I go over this in every single one of my videos, but yes, it says dries in seconds and yes, it really does dry in seconds. I have glued my fingers together so many freaking times with this stuff. So if you go and buy it, please be careful. This nail glue is probably my favorite. <laughs> I don't know if you're seeing exactly how I'm applying the tips, but pretty much what I do is when I have the glue on there, I kind of like bend the nail like this and I place this part on there first and then slowly push down. And if you look, you're gonna be able to see the glue pretty much fill it up so there's no air bubbles. So I finally ordered one of these acrylic nail cutters. Um, I know every single video I use little scissors. It's just because I kept forgetting to buy one of these, but I got this one and it's super pretty and it came in a whole entire set with some different tools and it all has like the pretty rainbow metallic-y finish on it and I love it. They're so pretty. These work so good by the way. I've already used them last time to get my nails off. So I'm probably gonna cut about right there. I am mad at myself that it took me this long to buy this. This is probably one of my new favorite items ever. I think in every single one of my videos, I have done almond shape because almond shape is my favorite, but I do need to mix it up a little bit. I am going to be filing my nails into coffin shape. All right, I'll be back. I have filed all of my nails. I will say the one thing about coffin is it takes way less time filing them. I'm gonna go in with my buffer and I'm gonna take all of the shine away from the fake nail and a little bit on my real nail. Later when we do the dip, it's gonna help the dip stick way more to the nail. I've removed all of the shine and these are looking pretty good I think so far so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my file and kind of blend where the fake tip meets my actual nail whenever I do this the dip applies way better and I just like how it looks way better I don't know so I'm gonna go and do that 
but you can see the difference between here and here you can't really see where the fake nail tip is and it almost looks like that is my like natural nail and you can't even feel the fake nail tip I've been getting a bunch of comments recently that, that a lot of you guys that watch my videos are doing your nails while you're watching my videos and it's so funny because I do the same exact thing like I'll watch nail videos or just YouTube in general I always have a video on even when I'm filming so when I'm filing my nails or it's a time lapse I always have YouTube on in the background and I think it's funny that other people do the same exact thing so I'm going in with my buffer again just on my nails making sure there is no shine I think we're about ready to get started with the dip like I said before I'm gonna be going in with dip and um hmm on my last video the nail tech found my video and a lot of them came for me and I just have to say I am not a professional nail tech I've been doing my nails since sixth grade so I've almost been doing it for 10 years and people keep asking for nail videos from me so I am just sharing what works for me all the nail techs that weren't rude and they just gave me constructive criticism I appreciate you guys so much so we're actually going to be applying the dip a little bit differently today because I am curious to see how it goes because a mistake that I have done a lot of times in the past which I kind of know I'm just kind of lazy to fix it is I don't focus on the apex of my nail as much as I should and if you don't know what the apex is it's right here it's, it's really important to focus a lot of the product like whatever you're using like dip acrylic poly gel whatever you're using right here because that's where your nail bends and I want to try the ways that a bunch of the nail techs were telling me to try it pretty much a lot of them said like apply it here first then dip then apply it like here and then dip and then apply it on your whole entire nail and then dip. First thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going in with the base and I'm going to be applying it mainly in the middle of the nail like that and then I'm going to immediately put it into the dip and I'm going to let it sit there for a second and then very lightly dust it off and then you go back in with the base and you go from like the apex area to the top of your nail and dip that again. you get pretty close to the cuticle on this one and you're gonna put this on your whole entire nail it's just making the apex a little bit thicker so then your nails don't break off as easy I'm gonna look at it and obviously this is my first time ever trying this so this part is a little thicker than I would like and I really want this part to be a little bit thicker so I think I'm gonna put one more coat in this area but this is actually pretty good because I can shave this part down You're done with the dip go in with the activator and pretty much this like really seals it and then you want to make sure that dries so I wait like a good like 30 seconds the shape can get a little bit lost when you do the dip I've defined the shape a little bit more so now what I'm gonna do is I'm kind of just gonna go along like this and just even it out as much as possible with my file and then afterwards I'm gonna be going with my drill but I do like to show it with file because I know a lot of people are like afraid to use the drill or just don't want to buy it so but I would say the drill is a lot easier but I'm doing this for the people that don't have one so I just got done filing and I have to say I think I did a pretty good job on getting that good shape it definitely does feel way stronger I am I'm gonna be going in with my drill and I'm just gonna be going along just to make sure it's super even not a whole bunch because I don't want to thin it out I just wanted to make sure it's really really even so I'm gonna go do that and be back I just finished filing this I'm gonna be going in with the activator again and putting that all over to really seal it in to make sure it is not gonna be like squishy or anything and it's gonna be completely dry filing my nails I definitely feel like these are way way stronger than the other nails I've done I'm gonna go wash my hands and then I'll be back and then we're gonna get to doing designs and all that fun stuff tell me these don't look perfect like 
These are probably some of the best nails I have ever done. So now I'm going to do designs. And as always, I make my way to Pinterest. So I wanted to try these. They just have little like squiggly lines on them. And then I thought maybe I would mix in some like brown French tips. I am gonna be going in with a base before. <laughs> I only use gel nail polishes and I then cure them in a UV light. So I ordered a few more colors and I'm gonna start showing the colors I'm using. I get all of these from Amazon. Okay, a lot of the times in my videos, like right here, I mix a bunch of colors together to like try and get the perfect color. I have this white one and obviously you can see it's all messed up from like pouring out to mix to make the colors lighter and stuff. So I got this one and it says deep violet on it. Totally just looks dark brown. So we're just gonna go with it. I am gonna do some of my nails like this picture. This is gonna be the base. I'm gonna use this darker brown as one of the swirls and then I'm just gonna add white to this color to make it a little bit lighter so then that will be the other one because I didn't want to like buy a whole nother color just for that I'm gonna do that on some of my nails and then on the rest of my nails I think I might go in with this dark brown and do some French tips <laughs> I'm just showing you guys this so far. I haven't done the top coat yet, but these are them. I did like a bright pink nail right here. It totally doesn't go with it, and I think I might take it off, but it's so pretty. And it just like doesn't go with the set. Yeah, this one came out really good. They're gonna look even better when I put the top coat on. I kinda wanna get rid of the pink nail. It's like throwing it off. So I think I'm gonna do this on this nail. So I have a bunch of these stickers that I got not that long ago. I think on the French tip nails, I'm just gonna put some stickers. They're mostly all butterfly stickers. But I think I'm just gonna pick some like little ones out and just put them like right here just to give them like a little bit more spice Before I put the stickers on I am gonna be going in with a top coat and then I'm gonna put the stickers on and then I'm gonna put another top coat over that So I finished up and then I just went and washed my hands to get all like I've had powder and stuff off These are probably some of my prettiest nails and I'm probably gonna say that every single time I do a nail video I'm really in love with these nails. They came out perfect, but I'm gonna be going in with some cuticle oil Well, that is that okay, so these are them. Um, I don't know if I explained this in the video, but I did brown nails because I recently just dyed my hair brown and I thought I would just like add to it. I feel like it just adds to it. My mom said they kind of remind her of like coffee. Kind of looks like mocha color. This new technique has been amazing. My nails sometimes like if I hit them in a way like my nail will hurt really bad, but that is because I never put enough on the apex of my nail. Thank you so freaking much to all of the actual nail techs who were in my comment section on my last nail video who gave me all these tips so now I can like put these tips into my videos and tell you guys how to do your nails better. I appreciate you guys so freaking much. I'm so excited to see how these hold up. If you guys are curious to see how they hold up, I might post something on my Instagram story to like say like how long they last. So if you want to see that, you can go follow my Instagram. It's just Kaylee.Boyle. I always post pictures of my nails. Like sometimes I'll do a photo dump and I'll post all the pictures of my nails that I've done recently. So then you guys can see like all of my nail art and stuff. Yeah, I absolutely love the thumbs with the little butterflies. I think these came out so cute. Okay, I'm just going to keep rambling because... These are like my favorite things ever. I feel so much more put together when I have nails on. Like I haven't had nails for like the last week or a little bit longer than that because I was giving my nails a break. And I just, I hated it. I felt like I wasn't put together. I don't know, just nails make me feel weirdly more confident.
I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys found the removal process helpful because I have had a hard time finding a removal process that is easy. And honestly, I usually just wait for my nails to like be able to fall off and like I bite them off and like pry them off, which is so bad for your nails. But that's why I haven't made a video on it because I've been trying to find a way that will be easy and not too harsh on your nails. Like obviously acetone is, isn't good for your nails, but it's the quickest and my nails don't feel like absolute crap afterwards. So yeah, that's the easiest way I have found so far. If you guys have other tips, I know there's other things where you can put like a cotton round with acetone on your nail and then put foil over it and let it soak like that if you don't want to buy the bowls. Okay, I hate switching to my phone to film, but every single one of my batteries is dead and I have tried to put every single one on my camera. My camera has died like three times in the past 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna film it on my phone. But if this is the first time that you are seeing me, I do way more videos than just nail videos. I do a bunch of hair videos. I do a bunch of like in my life videos. I kind of just film my whole entire life. So if you're interested in that and you want to see more, you can subscribe, but you can press the little notification bell thing to be notified when I post. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I never ask you guys to give my videos a thumbs up. I get annoyed when YouTubers plug all their stuff at the end and I don't know if it's annoying, but like if I don't do it, it feels weird. Do you guys get annoyed when YouTubers plug stuff? Because I feel like if you're gonna subscribe and turn the post notification cell on and like give it a thumbs up, you're just gonna do it no matter what if they ask you to. Like, hmm. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Bye. I don't know if you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers. But my bruise the scales hand to hand, dropping corn shit down the well. Wish me well, wish me well. Always talking about the fishing scales, things that's gon' throw my mind off focus. Probably what's gon' get my drug use more dosage. Like I damn baby girl, I damn.